Hey YouTube, this is Unique Angel. Today I will be doing an eyebrow tutorial. I had a request from Baby Jizzle on how I do my brows. So I'll be letting you guys know. Um, I'm going to try a different angle because you can't see it from the angle that it is now. But what I use are Persona razor blades. You can get them at Sally Beauty Supply. They look like this. They're just straight razors. And you have to be very careful because they are sharp. They will cut the shit out of you because I've done it before. But I've been doing my eyebrows for a long time. I wanted to learn how to do my own because every time I let a, a hairdresser or anybody else do them, I mean, they butchered them. They look terrible like Ronald McDonald arches. I mean, you name it. So today, I already have the shape that I want. And that's really what you want to focus on once you start growing your brows out to try to get the shape that you want. All you have to do from then on is just pretty much maintain the shape. Clean them up every now and then. I clean them up every couple of days. And so I don't know if you can see the hairs on there, but they're underneath here and over top over there. So that's just what we're going to clean up today. So I'm going to switch the camera angle, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so we're going to get started. The very first thing that you want to do before you start your brows is to wet them. And it just makes it easier for the blade to gl gl glide, glide across as you cut. You don't want to do it dry because you'll, you'll cut yourself if you do it dry. So we're going to start with the top. And after you kind of wet it, then you just brush them into the shape that you want. And this is that little elf tool that I got. I always look in face.com. Can't talk today. And you're going to take your blade and just kind of come down on the hairs that you want to cut. And this is a new one, so you always want to be careful with a new blade. And you can hear it kind of cutting. Now, I don't have much hair to clean up because I do mine fairly often, every couple of days. Underneath, there's a lot more hair, though. So, you wet up underneath there. You're going to hold your eyebrow taut so that you can, you know works with a little bit easier and you just go against the hair and it pulls it right on out short little strokes and be sure not to cut up into your eyebrow shape you want to try to find where your arch is and usually the highest point of the arch is right you know parallel with the end of your eye hmm. it's easy if you can see that. That's where the highest point of the arch should be. And then if you just want to get a little bit closer up under there, you know, you can. It's going to take you a couple of times to get used to holding the razor and not cutting yourself. Okay. And if you find that your eyebrows are too thick, the way to thin them out is brush the hairs upward and you'll see the real tall hairs, they'll rise above your eyebrows and that's how you know that they also need to be cut. So we'll do that again, I'll wet it and then do that little procedure again. You brush them upward so that the tall hairs will rise up and you can just cut them right off. Turn the razor upward and then just cut up and that thins them out if they're too thick now don't take off too much hair because you'll be walking around looking crazy okay and then just brush them again into shape look for any extra hair I want to cut my hair on my head and just keep shaping them. If you're like me and you have hair, a little unibrow, you can also get rid of that. Wet that in there. And just kind of cut downward. And you don't want to press too hard because that will cut your skin. You just want to do light strokes. So, ladies, that is how you do your eyebrows at home yourself. You do not have to pay to go have them threaded or, or waxed. 
You know, you can do it yourself. A lot of the stuff that people do and they, they get you to thinking that you can't do it on your own, you can do it by yourself. And they'll come out just as nice. So I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you like. And take care. Okay, so that wasn't it. I did the other one. And those are the completed brows. And one other thing that I forgot to mention is that when you're done, especially using a razor, go back over your brows with some alcohol. That will prevent you from getting any razor bumps. It's just like when guys shave and they get those bumps on, on their face. Go back with some alcohol and put that on your brows, and um, that will prevent the bumps. So, yeah. Um, after this, I think I'm going to do a eyeshadow tutorial. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Hip in Showy. So, sorry, I thought that was the end. So, come back if you want. Watch the